Hey, what is going on, Miami Dolphins fans? Welcome back to the Fins Up Network. It's Ben Morgan, and today was supposed to be the 18th day of training camp practice for your Miami Dolphins. It was supposed to be the second and final joint practice with the Philadelphia Eagles leading up to preseason finale on Saturday against the Eagles. But of all things, a stomach bug has broken out within the Miami Dolphins organization. So rather than bringing everyone back together, potentially getting more people sick, the Dolphins called off the practice. And while the Eagles still did do some on-the-field work, the Miami Dolphins opted to go the virtual route. So nothing really to report on today in regards to on-field work. But I still wanted to take some time to cover some news that we found out throughout the day. So outside of the stomach bug that we'll have to keep an eye on to see how it plays out and maybe that impacts players that we see on Saturday as well. We'll have to see how that goes. Hopefully it's none of the fringe guys that we really wanted to get some action from, but we'll have to see how that plays out. But let's talk about Andrew Van Ginkle because it turns out he wasn't really battling your typical football injury and missing practice the last few days, but rather he had his appendix removed. The good news, if there's ever good news about having your appendix taken out, it wasn't a ruptured appendix like what happened recently to Joe Burrow and it caused him to miss more time than you typically would want to. It wasn't ruptured. So there's a chance that Van Ginkle won't really miss an extended period of time, maybe ready to go already by week one or two of the start of the NFL season. But that helps explain the recent workout for Trey Flowers, who was brought in yesterday for a workout with the Dolphins. And who, as of this recording, has not signed yet with the Dolphins, but helps kind of add to why he was being worked out for the Dolphins yesterday, which would have been Wednesday's practice. But one other piece of news from the day that sort of relates to the Miami Dolphins is that free agent center J.C. Treader officially announced his retirement from the NFL. That helps explain why he's been a free agent, why he's been on the market this long and not signing with the team, despite a lot of teams in the NFL having center issues having needs at the positions. And obviously this is relevant to the Dolphins because we're still not 100% sure, especially us as fans are confident in what Connor Williams is currently bringing to the table. And obviously J.C. Treader was rated as the top, uh, the top center that was still available in the event that a team like the Dolphins wanted to add another natural center to the roster in case they wanted to move a guy like Connor Williams back to his natural position of left guard. So now if you're looking at the top remaining free agent centers left, according to NFL Trade Rumors website, it's Matt Paradis, who's 32 years old, Trey Hopkins, who's 30, and Billy Price, who is 27. So let's talk a little bit about Matt Paradis because he played his first four years with the Denver Broncos, his last three with the Carolina Panthers, and he was pretty damn solid for the Denver Broncos, the center of that Super Bowl team. He was a bit of a splash free agent signing when the Broncos weren't able to re-sign him and when the Panthers did. But this last year, he tore his ACL in week nine, and that's likely the reason why he's even still available, still on the market today. But one other thing to keep in mind in regards to the line, in regards to the center position, is that we're about to see loads of players cut from teams throughout the league following their final preseason games this weekend so maybe a couple of other players emerge from these final cuts but you gotta keep in mind that these players are likely getting cut for a specific reason so there's a decent chance that miami may be able to pull a backup type of player offensive lineman center from this entire mess of players rather than a guy that they can really just yep that's our guy we're gonna plug and play him at center the odds of the dolphins landing a guy like that you got to temper your expectations because, like I said, these guys aren't sticking on these final rosters, typically for a reason. But wrapping up with a few final notes from the day, Nick Needham is back to being considered day-to-day. -day. I wouldn't expect to see him in Saturday's finale. And it sounds like Jalen Waddell should actually be set to go for week one against the New England Patriots, just playing it super safe with him at this point in time. But that's really what all I have for today, Miami Dolphins fans. I'll be back probably Friday or Saturday with the top things to watch from the preseason finale. Obviously, I'll do a recap, um, a recap video following that game. And then I'm also going to take a stab at trying to predict the Miami Dolphins final 53-man roster before the final cuts 
are announced. So we'll have to see how I do with that. I've tried it in the past and I've never been perfect. It's a hell of a, uh, an experience. If you ever tried it before, just do it and see how close you get. It's kind of a fun uh, exercise to see which ones you get right and which ones you get wrong. But a fun experience nonetheless. So we'll be giving that a shot as well. But like I said, that's my time for today, Miami Dolphins fans. And until next time, fins up.